All right, beauties. Um, family. You'll probably, I don't know if you'll see this before the one from this morning or this one first or short. I don't know. Um, I'm so tired. It's now 1.45 and I left there at 1 and um, we don't have these on my side of town, but I had to stop at the Chick Chick-fil-A and get me some fingers and some waffle fries. So I stopped and got something to eat and I'm like, okay, well that just cut into my profit. But I've got to reassess my setup I'll, I think people you'll see I did the walkthrough I did it last week too um I've not figured out how much like that I made yet which I mean I'm not gonna announce how much I made but if I made a profit or if I didn't um I'm sure I did because the two biggest selling things of were and I have been to one uh, last weekend and was like not one of the tooth fairy boxes got sold well I have one out of the eight, I have one at $8 a piece. Well, some of them were seven. If they didn't have the angel wings that I made out of the air dry clay and painted and everything, I, I charged extra for that. And um, so that was surprising. And I have took the Kleenex holders that go down the, the round tube and then you put the take it out and then slip it down in the mason jar and pull it through the felt. Those things have been to so many craft fairs. Sold one for $12. Um, I sold um, a uh, two salt and pepper shaker sets. Um, no wood rounds, none of the signs, none of the shelf sitters, none of the crosses, um, none of the um, the Bible hymns. That's usually the number one. Everybody stopped and was like, oh, these are beautiful, but nobody bought one. And, I mean, I was only asking $6. You know, I mean, it took me, like, multiple days to make them. Um, but most people were like, oh, I'm not questioning how much work it took, I'm sure. It's beautiful, but I'm just not looking for that right now. And I'm like, well, I'll be out here again one day. And, um, everything. So, um, then I had some stickers that somebody sent me, this company. And, I mean, it was like a bin, like a thing. And, um, I sold them 10 for a dollar. I mean, they were like good size stickers and they said things like God is good. Or one of them said, um, go get the bread. And I had to explain to a kid that bread is money. When, when it says, let's go get the bread, that means let's go get some money, basically. He didn't understand. Then I felt really old. But, um, 
But this getting old, just, I mean, not this, it's get, I said this is, it's getting old, getting overheated. This sweet guy who had to break down his whole thing by himself came and helped me pack up and load the car, take down the tarp, and let me sit in the car um, while he did it with the air on. And I was like, I got to give this guy some money. And the first thing I pulled out of my bag was $10. He said, no, 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 you don't, no, do not give me any of your profit, any of your money. I don't, I don't, I, and I was like, no, you went way above and beyond. I'm sure your wife was like, what are you doing with that woman over there? <laughs> doing all her work. Because <laughs> I would have had something to say to my husband if I, you know, was still married or if I had any prospects of marriage. But, um, but yeah, he was nice. Just as nice. I mean, this is how I want my son to be nice. He was 22. And I want my son to be that nice. Forever. And ever and ever. But the girl that was sitting beside me, I've got some eggs over here. 18 eggs. The pretty ones that are like green and pink and yellow looking. And they were about to leave. And I was like, oh no, y'all have y'all have fresh unpasteurized eggs. And she was like, yeah. And they opened up the cooler that had dry ice in it. And she said, I said, how much is a dozen? And she said, $4 or $4.50. And I was like, okay, I was going to give her $4 for them, you know, no problem. And she said, give her eight, the lady, because we had been talking. She said, give her three dollars give her an 18 pack so now i got 18 eggs i gotta boil gonna be some chicken salad in the house i guess i can um do a cooking show show you how to make i make my chicken salad <laughs> comment down below if you want to see how i make chicken salad but anyway um i'm 99% sure that I did make a profit. Um, but like I said, it, it, I think it's a lot for somebody to take in when they come in and those three tables are loaded. So, I'm going to next time be choosy about what I, what I, um, bring, like, bring the crosses, bring the, um, uh, shelf sitters, bring the signs, you know, hang the signs up, but don't bring all, uh, the only mason jars that have, like, Christian sayings on them kind of thing and see how that goes like how it sells the same stuff that was there the two weeks before because I think I go back in two weeks um so yeah and when I left I was so thirsty I stopped at Popeye's I paid three dollars and 29 cents for a medium Diet Coke Yes, and it's gross, but I was so thirsty, and that was, I went to Burger King first, because they were right there, and they're not open yet, Harper's really never had nothing, and I got to pass over this bridge that I used to have to pass over every morning going to school, and literally two cars 
y'all could touch each other when you drove by. You slowed, you had to slow down. And if not, people went off that um, railroad underneath. You go, you going down, you wreck, you going down. Cause it's like, now it's like this wide concrete, you know, walls and then my elementary school was right there and I was like, it doesn't even look the same. I, w I was like, I wish I could go in and just see if it smells the same. You know how it smells remind you of stuff? When I used to have to pick up Peyton when he was in elementary school, well, kindergarten or in elementary, whenever he got sick, the smell of the school, just, I don't know. It's that smell, and all of them smell alike. Um, every college that I've been to smelled, I don't know, like reams of paper and graphite, like from pencils. I don't know. I sound retarded, but um, anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm headed home. I'm going to eat. I put up a community tab. So, if you've seen the community tab, this is your response. <laughs> um, and if you are watching this and you have already seen the community tab, please go put your butterfly emoji on that post. And this video, we're doing something different. This video put a mm, poop, put a poop emoji. Everybody loves the poop emoji. Poop emoji down at the bottom. I want to see big piles of poop everywhere on this one. So. Because that's my feelings right now. Like a big pile of poop. I haven't even used like. I haven't peed. That's how like. I couldn't find water anymore. My water was gone. I had a Starbucks this morning. Then I had three bottles of water. And I still haven't used the bathroom. And I have no desire to use the bathroom. That's how hot it was. It says. 89 right now and the sun you can look at me and the sun is cloudy it's cloudy outside it rained this morning a little bit i was about mad that i drove that far but there were tons of people there i was i was on my feet trying to you know greet everybody that walked by i gotta make some more business cards because people wanted those book stacks with their names on them. And I'm like, you send me, you know, uh, an email. And if I have questions, I'll go back with you. And um, I would not recommend shipping because um, books are heavy. But if you're coming to the, you know, the show... I'll make sure I'm at that show and you can just drop by and you know pay and take your books so trying to be nice trying to be you know like if you like a certain color on your books or your cross if you want a blue background if you want a pink background you want ribbon instead of burlap I mean, I'm like, I can customize whatever you need me to do. And people were very interested. Because um, one of them was like, I think I would want a pink cross for my daughter's bedroom. And I love those pearls. Now I just got tiny pearls. I've got to get big ones again. I mean, they're fake. But um, I'll have to throw in the Timu order. Because they're cheaper than Dollar Tree. But, anyway, love you guys. I appreciate you. Don't forget to crap all over this video. And I love you.